Okay, guys, here's my review on the HyperTuff. Their drills. This is the 20 volt 1.5 AH max. Or 20 volt max or whatever. Okay, look. It, it looks decent. Like, it's made right. The plastic seems hard. You know, it looks like you take a beating. Okay. Cool looking battery. Not, like, overdone. Okay, so I'm going to check the torque on it. Ready? Kind of have a weird feel because I have small hands, but... 20 volts. Nice. It has a nice kick to it, guys. Decent. Okay, that's the first one, okay? Now we got... This is the season that, you know, they're selling right now. You know, it has awesome grip. Kind of like a hood grip or whatever, but... Decent quality for the price. Now here's last season, the season right before. Look at that. It's huge for 18 volt. It's bigger. So you can see the battery's obviously a lot smaller. This thing's a tank. Now the questionable material is this red plastic. Feels like a RC car type of plastic, you know. It looks durable, but, you know, if it fell, I would be concerned. This one is more, I don't know if they call it mate or matte. I don't know. But, look at that. It just looks better. I guess maybe the uh, 3D machines or whatever they use to make them. The plastic part, awesome. But, yeah, here, here's the kick of this one. This is good for basic stuff. I've actually uh, tried to drill a hole with hardened, you know, through hardened steel with this thing, and it didn't work. It, it just it took too long. Maybe my uh, cutting oil was bad, but I'll tell you. I mean, it did hold up. You know, the battery did. Like it was starting to overheat, but it, you know, if you've used these enough. You can kind of tell, what, oh, I better set this down or recharge it or, you know, just let it cool off. But, yeah, it was, I mean, I will give the 18 volts some credit. You know, I was surprised I didn't run out the engine. Because I was trying to drill through hardened steel and, you know, it made the hole. It punctured it, but, you know, it wouldn't go that deep. You know, I think part of it has to do with my oil, though. Okay, let's see. If this one. It does have some more kick to it. How little that battery is. There's my kitchen. Just old stuff. Gotta clean it up. And then for our treat, we got the Ryobi 18 volt 1.5. It's a unique device. This wing stop guys right there but yeah this is the ryobi flashlight using the 18 volt lithium 1.5 ah don't see that every day but yeah guys go out and get yourself some of these man toys feels great in the hand this is an awesome device I think the Ryobi, I think the plastic's pretty strong. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it. I think it. It does match the HyperTuff. You know, you would think at first it's pretty cheap, but no. Look how thick that is. That is pretty thick. Decent. Let's see how bright it is. Yeah, that is bright. It is. pretty high quality you know you could use this in the brush or you know anywhere construction sites very cool but yeah 
I got this stuff at, uh, or my brother got it at, uh, what's it called? Home Depot. This, these hyper tufts are from Walmart though. But yeah, here they are. Look at that. Look at the size of that thing. It's almost overbuilt, but you wonder if this red plastic can outlast that. I mean, that looks pretty good. Uh, kind of rubberized. Oh, and the, here, here's another one. My brother brought the rival of the Ryobi guys. The rival. Oh, my God. Look, 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 look. This is a 20-volt. Beautiful DeWalt flashlight uses the, you know, 20 volt DeWalt 2AH. So that's even more strong. And it is, ooh, that is big. Awesome. Very cool. Let's see if the trigger works good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. It is nice. So we're going to compare that one. Just turn off for a second. One more time this one. Not bad. This is not bad. Oh, oh my god. My brother brought the other one. Our final one. This is our final one that I'm going to show for this video. You know, the granddaddy of them all. Okay, guys. Oh my god. The Milwaukee M18. Oh, oh my god. XC 3.0. Looks good. You know, I'm going to be frank with you. It looks strong. Okay, it does. I don't know if there's, you know, multiple settings. Turn this off for a second. Here's how it looks, guys. Decent, you know, decent. The battery looks ridiculous. But okay, okay, we're going to set them all side by side. Because these are really cool. They really are awesome. But like I said, I want to show you guys something. The Milwaukee looks strong. But, okay. The Ryobi is decent. Very decent light. Okay, I'm going to be frank with you. Now, look at the D-Wall. It's, it's obvious it's a 20 volt. Dude, ridiculous. It has a great spread. The spread's awesome. Now, the Milwaukee, beautiful. It's another beautiful one. Okay, I have to, I have to you know, retract my statement. The Milwaukee has a beautiful shadow. We're going to try it one more time. Decide which is my favorite. Obviously, the uh, DeWalt is that 20 volt from the DeWalt. It has a nice, nice, uh, very bright center. 2AH. Now, I'm going to be frank with you. This is the rare, awesome. I mean, I can even tell you. Look at that spread for an 18 volt. 1.5. I want to show you this. This is a hell of a flash. What? Are you serious? For 1.5? Oh my god. You know, I'm going to be frank with you. The Milwaukee, it's good. It, it, it seems more modern, but I don't think for a 3.0 volt, it's much better than the Ryobi. Look at the Ryobi. It just looks less modern. The light's worse. It's cheaper. And then we got the DeWalt. But yeah, guys, these are the ones you can get. The Army. Very cool. But like I said, you know, just, you know, pick them out at the store, you know, see what you like. You know, I kind of gave as much a good review as I could on the, you know, actual light function. Awesome. 3.0 right there. You know, go get yourself a Milwaukee. But if you're like a big dog, go for the DeWalt. <laughs> See, it's great. Excellent outdoor, you know, construction use. It's just awesome. Like, it's a great device.
pretty decent. I mean, I am very impressed by this Ryobi. You know, if I had to say if the price was, you know, not, I don't remember the price. My brother bought these, but if this was less, Andy, do you think this was more expensive or? I think those are pretty good prices. Yeah, because the Ryobi, this, it feels awesome. Like, I, I think it has a lot more, kind. Of, I don't know, the plastic feels different. It does feel high quality. Won't deny it. But, god dang, it is it is decent. And my brother was stating right now that it is a fair price for this one. Awesome. Great deal. Yeah, it's a good price. Right. Yeah. Right, you know, 5 out of 5 stars. All these are 5 out of 5. But for the price, pretty decent. Alright, guys, enough of my rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, this is just one of my little power tool videos. And uh, I may put some more up, but, you know, this is just my review, my take on it. So you guys can always uh, have your own opinions, but I do recommend these. They're awesome. You know, they are really cool. And I, I think it's interesting because re they really do use, you know, these big batteries. Like, why in God's name would a flashlight, you know, use one of these? But it's like DeWall and all these other companies, they make so many different devices. So it's like, oh, I'll just use the battery for this too. Awesome. This is the only one that actually has a real uh, hook or, you know, yeah, hook type thing. Let's see, nothing on that one. They're just, they're different. And then here's the other one. But yeah, guys, go get yourself one of these. It's almost Christmas time. Remember, you know, men, they do love their power tools. Great gifts. You know, great, you know, self gifts. So yeah, guys, just highly recommended. All right, over and out.